Hey guys, this is Frosty the Dragon speaking, here with a let's play of G-Lock Air Battle for the Sega Game Gear. Or Sega Master System if you're European. Yeah, I have no familiarity with the Master System itself. Just the Game Gear because I'm an American. So, this is basically a plane shoot 'em up And I don't mean ordinary, I mean flying. Yeah, I hate it when you, spe you spell a word two different ways. And it's said the same. Whatever. Just these little pet peeves. The difficulty in this game basically determines how much you start with. This is why I picked beginner, because I haven't completed the game in any other difficulty yet. Ignore that little uh, desktop shot at the, bo at, at the top of the screen above the fuel. That's because I'm emulating this. My Game Gear does not work. Well, my brother's Game Gear does not work anymore. And, uh... Besides, it's very hard to record a Game Gear. If I had a Master System, it'd be a tad e bit easier because... There are ways to hook those up to recording equipment. I just figured it'd be easier to hook up my computer... ...and emulate this... ...because my computer can go to my recording stuff. I don't use screen capture software, I much prefer DVD recorders, which make these long these let's plays kind of difficult sometimes. But I digress. You have several different weapons in this game that you've, you've seen them all. Actually, you only have two weapons. You got your gun, there's three different levels of gun, and they can take out anything that flies. Gen generally choppers and fighter planes. Then you've got your missiles, which can take out anything. Fighter planes, helicopters, warships, tanks, and bases. We'll get to bases near the end. Your fuel gauge at the top, or what would be the top in this case, is your life bar. It slowly goes down as you progress through the level, and it decreases pretty hard if you get shot. That's even with decent armor. So... If it drains to what would be nothing, it'll keep a sliver of life no matter what. But if you get shot down to zero, down to zero fuel, you will explode. And, and that's at the end of the game, because there's only one life, no continues. Makes this game kind of difficult sometimes. Your objectives are basically to shoot down various... Uh, in some levels, you shoot down fire planes. Some you destroy warships. Some you destroy tanks. And the last one is where you destroy the bases. Other features of this plane include a boost function. You hold down the start button, you go really, really fast. Or at least rather twice the speed you normally would. Which makes the enemy groups appear sooner. Anytime you complete a mission, that timer down there, any time left, is multiplied by a certain number. I think it's a hundred times the mission number. Then you add uh, 10,000 times the mission number. And some levels you can get a special bonus for hitting more targets than necessary. It's hard to do in the warship and tank levels, and I think it's impossible to do in the bases level. The fighter plane levels, it tends to be really easy. Just have some other ones on the screen when you, uh, take out the last one required by the mission. And, uh, after every mission you get a, get access to an upgrade screen where you can buy upgrades for one of five different things. You can upgrade your gun. You can add the number of missiles you're carrying. That's the only way to replenish them. There are no power-ups mid-level. You can increase how much fuel you got left. You can increase the size of the fuel tank. And you can increase your armor level, which reduces how much damage you take from being shot at. There's something else you gotta watch out for. See those squares in the bottom? And those red blips? If you have a plane behind you, there will be a warning beep. And that will have a red blip behind a white one. Just like that. If you leave them in danger mode too long, you will start taking damage fast. In later levels, that too long is just so much as letting them pass by. So you have to be careful not to not to get bogeys on your tail. 
I don't know if that's the formal term, it's just... I'm familiar with that one from how Peppy, uh, described it to Slippy in Star Fox 64. Something like that. But that's... that's space planes, not normal planes. Yeah. I just started doing horribly at that point. I don't know why. I'm not very good at this game. Actually, this attempt... You'll see it later. This attempt turned out to be the closest I have ever gotten to beating the game. It's insulting. Really insulting. And... Yeah. Although the game it tends to be very, very relentless in the later levels. Want an idea how relentless? You are basically going to lose half your fuel in 10 seconds if you're not paying full, uh, undivided attention. I'm not even joking there. And, uh... Wow, I've already exhausted how much I'm going to say, and I'm only a third of the way through this. I am no good at audio commentaries. I should have warned you that at the start. Because... I only got this idea after watching a lot of them, and don't have a really good voice, I don't think. I always sound like my nose is clogged, for instance. Actually, leave in your comments whether you think I'm, uh, it's a good idea for me to actually be doing audio commentary. I could use the help. I could use the encouragement. I could use some advice on that. I've got this mic set pretty low, so I'm probably breathing into it too hard. But if I set it too high, it picks up absolutely everything else. One mechanic I don't understand about this game is the barrel... No, not barrel rolls. Uh, area loops. That if you apparently move a certain way, you automatically do an area loop, and anyone that's on your tail is in front of you now. I don't understand how it works, as far as I can tell, it's random, but I'm positive there is got- I'm positive it really isn't. Now, while there's some time watching me shoot in random directions, I would like to note that the Game Gear is not the only, ge not the only system that has G-Lock. The Genesis also has it, and I think there's an arcade version, but the Genesis and possible arcade versions are very different from the Game Gear version you're seeing here. It's probably even more hectic because, uh, the Game Gear had some limitations as far as hecticity. Is that even a word? Whatever. I'll make up words if I feel they're necessary. Darn it. And, uh... Well, that level didn't go too badly, did it? Now, I'll now I'll discuss. I should have discussed this at the start, but the exact point values. In beginner, you are given a 